Ahoy toy, welcome to Transfixed, the channel that is completely invisible to the YouTube algorithm. Tonight we're talking about Transform Elements Speedstar, which of course is their Mirage. And uh, I sold my Mastermind Creations Ocular Max Sphinx to get this guy, because he's more cartoon accurate. But I was a bit disappointed when I got him. Um, I like how he looks, but I want to talk a little bit about the quality. And then we'll get into the hip fix, um, which is a pretty commonly known problem with this. But uh, mine doesn't have it. I think mine is actually okay, but I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what this channel is all about. I'm sorry if this, if this is late. There's other places to see that, uh, but I, I ordered this guy back in August, and he just showed up today. So uh, better late than never, right? Hopefully you'll get something out of it the way I do it. Um, but again, just to talk about quality stuff, it comes in this little box. Um, I ordered him from uh, TF Direct, and he just came in a... A cardboard shipping box that was you know, just big enough to fit this inside of it and one thing I noticed right away is uh, there's no instructions uh, it doesn't come with any printed instructions maybe as a cost-saving thing um, but I thought I noticed this QR code on the side of the box so I decided to scan it and see if that was the instructions and yes sure enough it takes you to a, a Chinese website with um, with a video of uh, the transformation instructions uh, it's not the best it's a bit uh, it's a bit zoomed out it's kind of hard to see what he's doing Although I was watching it on my phone because it's a QR code. It would have been nice if I'd had a way to look at it, at least on my computer. But I suppose now I've got to send myself the link so I can watch it on the computer. A bit cumbersome. And also, this is not in English. So for us uh, English uh, customers, uh, there is some English on the box, but it doesn't really tell us that that's the instructions. Uh, you have to be able to read um, Chinese for that. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, he comes with some accessories. There's uh, the missile that goes in here. And it only goes in one way. There's one flat side. Uh, and then it, you just push this. It does not really fire. It just releases it, which is fine. And um, a nice uh, gun that we expect from Mirage. And a second head, which uh, for the life of me, I cannot <laughs> tell the difference. I, I thought one was supposed to be have a kind of a longer face. Uh, I thought maybe the smile was a bit different. But to me, they look identical. Uh, I could be wrong. Or perhaps they sent me two of the same by mistake. Um, he also comes with a, a happy face. And another set of eyes, which is nice. I do like that. So, um, like I said, let's talk about the quality. Because this is going to be a bit of an indictment against uh, QC number two. So I noticed a few things right off the bat. First, when I removed it from the clamshell, part of this engine block fell off. This was uh, loose in the package. And I found that um, it's pegged on uh, two of these. The top and the bottom hole are pegged. So I just put that right back on. Now, uh, I wanted to replicate that. And I um, I made the mistake of uh, trying to pry this off too hard, and I snapped the peg. So uh, that's on me. I broke that. Uh, I can glue that back on. But uh, as I was doing that, I also noticed there's a bit of um, a bit of paint missing here. Looks like there's some silver poking through here. I feel like I need to touch that up with some black paint. Second thing I noticed was on the foot here. That looks like the wrong color uh, to me. I seem to have a green piece on the heel here. And this doesn't seem like painted plastic to me. This seems like it's molded in this blue color. But for some reason, I've got a green piece on this uh, left foot here. And it's right next to QC sticker. So QC number two, not impressed with your work. Uh, other thing I noticed were some mold flashing. There's mold flashing all over the place. There's mold flashing here, mold flashing here, uh, on the knuckle here on this uh, air dam here and on the on the uh, the mount for the gun there's some mold flashing here i'm gonna have to go over this thing all over uh, with a knife and just trim that off uh the other thing is this uh, uh this windshield here doesn't appear to be put all the way down see that gap i feel like that should be all the way down there now it's flush but out of the box it had that gap and uh also it's not quite transformed properly you have to uh, these flaps should be folded in. So I open this up, sorry, I open this up, and immediately this piece fell off. So I was trying to fold these uh, flaps in. So you have to separate this and fold these flaps in. I'm not gonna, I don't know how to transform it yet, but that's where they should be, right? Uh, but that fell right off. So that's supposed to be pegged in here. This side seems okay. Uh, but that, yeah, see the pin there? That uh, that pin is just sitting there loose. That's supposed to be pinned in here. Um, 
I, I don't think there's anything I can do to secure it. I, I mean, I can put it back in, but I don't think it's going to stay. And some stress marks. That stress mark was there right out of the box. I have not transformed this yet. Now, ironically, uh, what this guy is famous for is the hip being misassembled. So there's a loop inside of here where it should be pointing up, like kind of curving up, it's pointing down. Uh, I'm going to do that, you know, like I said, just because this is uh, this is transfixed. This is what I do on this channel. But uh, I think this one actually was assembled correctly. But boy, these flaps, these flaps are disappointing because they kind of limit the hip motion. So if you want to move the hip, uh, you know, the leg out to the side, this is in the way. You've got to untab that to get the leg out to the side. Likewise, if you want to move it forward, you could just crash it into there and it'll, it'll pop loose and go free, but you shouldn't, right? You should loosen this up so that it can come forward. Uh, if you just do it, it'll, it'll do it, I guess, but it's really, I don't recommend it. Uh, yeah, you should really loosen these hip skirts up. Uh, and that's unfortunate. I don't know any other figure where you have to do that. And just uh, other minor nitpicks, the uh, the paint seam here. The line looks a little bit hazy around here where the blue paint stops, but I mean, that's not really a big deal. I'll, I'll forgive that one. And um, and the feet, there's a seam here where there's kind of a ridge. I don't know if that's glue or paint, but uh, you know, this isn't as smooth as it could be, but uh, minor thing. But yeah, it just shows kind of a lack of polish. Oh, also this, this um, this part here, this tab is supposed to go into the wrist and on the left hand it's fine, but this one, it's kind of squishy. See, it doesn't cre it doesn't really lock in place, whereas on this side, it does, well, for the most part. So that's pretty much all my gripes. The, we the wheels feel pretty good. The tires are, there's a, a touch of softness to them, uh, but they're not like the MMC. Uh, I'll give Mastermind some credit. Well, the whole figure was good for the time, but they had nice, beautiful feeling silicone uh, tires. And these ones, they're not hard plastic. They're slightly softer, but just ever so. And it does have the, the Jeten. I think I talked about this on a previous video of some kind, but um, but this is a cigarette brand in, uh, in France. Uh, so it's, if you're wondering why it says Jetains on it, it's Jeten. So je Ten. And here it is in the alt mode since I uh, transformed it. I thought I'd show it off the vehicle mode and nitpick this too. It's pretty good. It's a nice looking, uh, nice looking car. Uh, it was not fun to get it into this mode though. Top part of the transformation is not too bad. You pretty much have to like explode the leg and then invert it and flip it around. Um, cleans up pretty good though. It's really tricky to get this shoulder cannon swiveled around and mounted inside here, but um, it is cool that it does that. And it feels solid, it feels good, but um, Again, just some quality things. You can see the difference in paint here um, and the plastic too. It just doesn't quite match up. I don't know if it comes through on camera, but you know, blue paint on top of the white makes it light. And then you get the darker plastic here. So some of these things don't quite match up. You can see plastic and paint and metal and different parts here. The blue is not perfect. I mean, it's, it's pretty close. I'm, I am nitpicking. And then on the side here, this is a bit unfortunate. It looks like the letters are spaced out strangely because it has the larger spaces in between this part of the panel and then this leg panel here they're pretty squished together to fit the jeten on here and also uh it's the same on the other side and i think this should be noticeable this is a much darker blue than this uh i think this is darker overall than the rest of it uh i don't know why this just <laughs> came out too dark and um i i guess the letters are a bit better spaced out here but again it just speaks to the lack of polish you know this is a good toy it's it's it ends up great in both modes it's just not a fun transformation and the fit and finish is just not there you know but i guess you know this is one of their first two releases or first three this is te03 the first one was the prime i think so i'm not sure what two would have been but anyways i, I maybe with some more practice uh you know this will this will turn out to be a, a good company i think it's quite an up-and-comer but um, it's just not, it's not a Takara level of quality. And you can see here the Ford, uh, again, very bold and then Ford upside down on the bottom part of the panel. I guess this is so that they could use the same part. Maybe they don't have to make two different parts. I don't know why it's upside down or maybe that's how it is on the real car. I don't know. It's, it's not, it doesn't sit flat. That's probably, maybe I haven't transformed it quite right. I mean, to get all these panels to fit in together, uh, it's not quite perfect and Again, this this might just be that I haven't transformed it properly, but I can't quite get this to to line up. You can see I put the sticker on there, by the way. And here's the G1. This is a knockoff, but it's for all intents and purposes um, the same. The Siten, the proper uh, company is Jeten. This is a this is altered to try to avoid trademark. 
So Jitain is correct. Uh, Sitain is an alteration. And, uh, and the, the Ligier, it does have the Ligier racing uh, name on here, though. And I think there's an elf underneath that sticker. I can't remember. And it has the um, the Flamenco Dancer uh, on the sticker. I don't know why this, this knockoff came with gold stickers. All right. Well, I guess it's leg day. So let's get started here. We're just going to get this out of the way. And we should also, we need to get it access to this. I suggest that we do the ab crunch to so get this down, get the flap out of the way. And um, I'm just going to unscrew both of these. I've seen some people just take off this piece, but there's a flap that sticks down into this other uh, part of the back thigh here. So I think that instead of trying to pry it out and, and worry about bending that plastic, we should take off the panel of the thigh as well. So we've got his butt loosened up here. Well, that was a good thing. And <laughs> we'll take this off. This is just, you know, one of these small screwdrivers. I don't know what size it is. Triple zero maybe? Not sure. Okay, so that should get us access into it now. We need to remove this piece here, this disc on the back of the thigh. Now, there are different ways to do this. There's a pin in the knee, which is holding all of this assembly together despite the screw being out. So we don't want to remove that pin. We could do that, but that's that's probably going to damage the figure. Uh, we need to pull this out. The way this goes down, there's a um, uh, there's like a cylinder at the bottom. It, it's hooked into here. I'll have to show you the piece once it's out. So we're going to clamp that shut so that we can't break that. Uh, this is not going to come out very much. Let's get a tiny screwdriver that's going to fit into that hole. And we're just going to have to pull this out. It's it's uh, it's pegged in at the front. The peg on the front piece is the one that goes through the loop. So the back one, you can see, is just flat on the inside. We need to just pry this out. We just oh, man, don't want to break it, but... Pull it back, out, and up. Oof. I'm not sure about this clamp, actually. So we're going to have to try to get this thing out without snapping the whole leg apart. That's about as far as you want it to bend. This can be done, but oh my goodness, there's the piece. I can see it coming out now. There, we got it. Phew, touch and go. So I am I held it by the knee because I didn't want this to snap all the way out. But this is the offending piece. See that tab? That's what's holding it in place. That's why we had to pull it backward. I don't think we needed the clamp. If it had a smaller clamp, maybe, but... All right, so now we've got it out. So I suggest that, uh, if yours is wrong, rotate it up halfway like this. See the shape there? This is correct, but then we want to pull the leg out. Get it up, actually. This is easier because it's halfway rotated already. Well, maybe we don't want to rotate it. It's up to you, but... No, I guess we shouldn't do that. There's not quite enough clearance. So that is... That's what we're looking at here. So it should be higher on the top. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now, if you want to rotate this, it's quite stiff. So you're going to need another tool. So I'd use a screwdriver or something that's going to fill up that hole. So for yours, if it's wrong, you want to rotate this around. All right, so that's the wrong way. Let me try to get a better shot here. Let's get this butt flap out of the way. So that's upside down. We want this to be the other way around. So we're going to hold on to it, rotate it round. It should be flatter on the bottom and the loop should stick up to the top. The idea is that his, his thigh is up high into the waist, not hanging down. Right, so if it were wrong, that's how we would fix it. Plug this back in, of course. And now what we have to do 
Just put this annoying little bit back in. And the best way to do that is to have the leg straight, the regular position, and it's got to go, it's got to go in to that little notch. But, right, that notch has to get back into there. Which, that's why we have to pull this back a little bit. Right. This has come back. Now I looked at rotating this around different ways. I think you actually do have the most clearance with uh, the way it's already assembled. You don't have to rotate it in any funny positions. Just the regular standing position is already the best position to do this operation. So now we're going to have to plug this back in. And uh, it's just going to have to just squish back in there somehow. Sorry guys, I had to do that off camera. I had to, what I did is I sat this down on my lap and hooked this in here and spread this as far as I could. Just twisted this to pry this back as far as I could while pushing this by hand. Uh, there's just no way I could do that on camera. Maybe I can do it. Yep, I can, okay. I'm gonna have to put it down to do it though. Uh, getting it back in was no easier than getting it out. Uh, the most important part is prying. Just get yourself a good tool, uh, preferably plastic and not metal, so that you don't scratch the material. And just you need to get a good handle on this. So you, I, I recommend I just laid it down on my uh, my knee uh, or thigh, and just so that it stays in place. And you know, try to keep this from moving around. Get this dug in here. Hold the piece flat. Uh, you know, above of course, because it's got to drop. You want to get it to drop down in place. So if you're holding it flat up here and you can get this pried back as far as you can, then just this should just drop down into place. I did it once and it seemed uh, easier than I thought. So I thought, well, that's great. Maybe I can try this on camera. I'll try different camera angles, try different surfaces. Uh, <laughs> it was way harder to get in the second time. So uh, I really wanted to show you everything I could on camera, but it just, uh, it just was impossible, I'm sorry. Uh, and then of course, just put the screws back in place. You know, having done this, I don't know if this is the best method or if you should just knock that pin out. Um, in my video about the welcoming committee, those four custom seekers, I did show how to knock these pins out using a nail set and a hammer. If you're feeling brave, you could do that. Um, I'm just not sure if I would recommend it because taking pins in and out of transformers is... Um, Something that you have to be very careful about. Now, now that he's back in robot mode and we've done a mock uh, repair. Uh, I was pretty hard on this guy in my uh, initial thoughts, but I've cleaned up all the mold flashing and transformed him back and forth once, put a logo on him. And I have to say, he's actually a pretty good solid toy. It's just the, it's just the finish. It's just the fit and finish. What do you call it? The, the QC. Um, but I love the materials. It feels really solid. And um, uh, sorry, this is kind of contradictory. I just think if the paint and manufacturing and, and assembly had been a little bit nicer, if they just put a little more care into it. It'd be a great figure. Uh, I really like the aesthetic. It, it really looks like the cartoon Mirage. And like I said, having played with it, the, all these materials feel good. All the plastics and metals feel good and solid. It's just the presentation. Just, I just want to have that little extra quality. You know, there shouldn't be different paints. There shouldn't be different uh, color plastics on it. QC number two. There shouldn't be misassembled hips, although there weren't in my case. It's, you know, for, it's not an expensive toy. I mean, I guess the, the masterpiece prices have been going up. Third party prices have been going up. But I mean, this guy I, I still got for um, $80, I think it was, about 80 bucks US. It's a good price, but for that kind of money, you don't want to have stress marks out of the box or pieces falling off. So it's just, it just kind of, you know, it didn't make a good first impression. But now that I've cleaned them up, uh, I guess I do. I guess I do recommend it. 
It's just just be aware. I just want you guys to be aware of what you're getting into. So don't be expecting a Takara piece. You know, be expecting something. You, you might have to spend a little time uh, cleaning up. But uh, once you do, it's a really good representation of Mirage. So that's that's Speedstar, and um, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with. It. He's gonna look good on my shelf. I think the other thing that's kind of spoiled me was, it, you know, just I I like to have. I'm kind of conflicted about Masterpiece toys because he looks great if you're just going to display him. But for transformation, it was not a lot of fun. Um, you know, of course, second time transforming him will be easier. But the thing with, like, this Siege line has been killing it. I mean, Earthrise. Earthrise. Siege is good. Earthrise is great. And this is a really fun Mirage. They've done some weird things, like the spoiler is his uh, arms. Um, this is a fake chest here and the real, the real, uh, sorry, the fake uh, front of the car. To become his chest, like this is the real front of the car down here. There's some cheating going on, but it's a fun toy to flip back and forth. Of course, these aren't the same type of toys. I, I understand that, but I'm just finding that I really enjoy transforming these siege toys and earthrise toys back and forth. Whereas the masterpiece toys, I just want them to sit there and look pretty, and I I don't want to transform them ever. I just don't want to play with them. The Takara ones, yes, those ones I. Do have a good time with those pretty much, uh, but just the engineering. I mean, this isn't as bad as the next Transbots uh, bot, but uh, you know, it's it's a uh, like I said, it's just it's fun to look at. It's not fun to transform. Uh, I I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. So anyway, that's enough about that. I hope this was helpful. Sorry, it couldn't be more helpful, but there you go. Transform element, Speed Star. Thanks for watching.